Imagine a world where robots walked among humans. Not in the 21st century, but thousands of years ago. Machines with intricate gears and lifelike movements, created without electricity, without computers, only with raw ingenuity and a deep understanding of mechanics. These weren't futuristic androids or artificial intelligence as we know it today, but they were marvels of engineering. Ancient automata that could pour wine, simulate digestion, track time, and even mimic human motion. And yet, these machines are shrouded in mystery. How were they built? Who created them? And, perhaps most intriguingly, why can't we replicate some of them today? In this video, we'll uncover five ancient robots whose secrets remain lost in time, each one more unbelievable than the last. This is not just a story of ancient engineering. This is a journey into the forgotten potential of human innovation. Welcome to Mysterium, where we explore the unexplained, the mysterious, and the hidden knowledge of history. Today's topic blends science, history, and a touch of sci-fi, five ancient robots that modern engineers still struggle to fully understand. These devices weren't powered by chips or code, but by ingenious mechanisms. So ahead of their time, they defy our assumptions about technological progress. You're about to discover how inventors from centuries, even millennia, ago achieved mechanical feats we typically associate with the modern era. And as you watch, ask yourself, is it possible that history has been edited, that some knowledge was deliberately hidden or simply forgotten? Because once you see what these ancient robots could do, you may begin to wonder what else we've lost. Let S start with one of the oldest known examples, the mechanical servants of Philo of Byzantium, built in the 3rd century before Christ. Philo was a Greek engineer who lived in Alexandria, a city that was once the epicenter of knowledge. He designed a robotic maid that could pour wine automatically when a cup was placed in its hand. At first glance, it may seem simple, but this device used a sophisticated system of air pressure and valves that allowed it to detect when a cup was near and trigger a series of movements. It was, in essence, one of the first responsive machines in recorded history. What s shocking is that the principles behind this device would nihility be rediscovered until the development of pneumatics nearly 2,000 years later. Think about that. We often associate ancient civilizations with primitive tools, but here was a robot, functioning in 250 BC, with a level of automation that wouldn't become common until the Industrial Age. How did Philo come up with such advanced concepts? And why did the world forget them for centuries? Now, let's leap forward to the 15th century, into the brilliant mind of Leonardo da Vinci. While he is most famous for paintings like the Mona Lisa, Leonardo was also an inventor, anatomist, and engineer of unparalleled vision. One of his most extraordinary and often overlooked creations was a mechanical lion, built in 1515 as a diplomatic gift for the King of France. This wasn't just a decorative statue. The lion could walk forward, move its head, open its chest, and reveal a bouquet of lilies. Inside, Leonardo used a combination of gears, pulleys, and spring-driven mechanisms to bring this creature to life. It was an automaton, built centuries before robotics was even a concept. Modern engineers who've attempted to reconstruct the lion have found it astonishingly complex. And here is the twist. Some historians believe that Leonardo may have drawn inspiration from lost ancient designs, potentially passed down through secret societies or hidden manuscripts. If that's true, then Da Vinci U.S. Lion could be more than an original creation. It might be a revival of forgotten knowledge. But Leonardo didn't stop there. Among his vast notebooks was the design for a humanoid machine, the Mechanical Knight. Constructed around 1495, this armored figure could sit, wave its arms, move its head, and even simulate speaking. The mechanism was based on precise anatomical studies. Leonardo had dissected human bodies to understand how muscles and joints worked. 
He then recreated that motion using gears, cranks, and pulleys, all driven by hand-powered systems. When researchers reconstructed the night in the 20th century, it worked exactly as described. Let that sink in. A robot built over 500 years ago functioned just as intended, without any modern technology. If Leonardo had access to more materials, who knows how far he could have taken his experiments. More importantly, why wasn't this technology preserved, improved, or mass-produced? Why did it disappear? Our next stop takes us into the strange, almost surreal world of Jacques de Vaucanson, a French inventor from the 18th century who was obsessed with mimicking life. In 1739, he presented the world with a fully mechanical duck. But this wasn't just a duck that moved or quacked. Vaucanson's digesting. Duck could flap its wings, drink water, eat grain, simulate digestion, and even defecate. That's right, a robot that pooped. The duck used a series of tubes, bellows, and cam-driven movements to imitate natural processes. Though there's debate over whether the digestion was genuine or faked with a sleight of hand, the mechanical complexity is undeniable. It was an attempt not just to entertain, but to understand and replicate the functions of biology through mechanics. Some scientists today see Vaucanson's duck as an early step toward biorobotics. But even with our advanced tools, creating a robot that convincingly mimics life is still a massive challenge. Was Vaucanson simply ahead of his time? Or did he tap into a forgotten lineage of mechanical knowledge that has been lost to modern science? Finally, we travel even further back in time, to the 12th century, and meet one of the greatest mechanical minds you've probably never heard of, Al-Jazari. A Muslim inventor from Mesopotamia, Al-Jazari authored a book titled The Book of Knowledge of Ingenious Mechanical Devices. In it, he described and illustrated dozens of advanced machines, many of them automata. Among his most famous was the elephant clock, which used water, weights, and gears to tell time. But one of his lesser-known creations was a group of humanoid robots designed to serve drinks, play music, and perform timed actions, entirely powered by hydraulic systems. These were not random gimmicks. They were programmable, using adjustable slots and valves to modify the timing and sequence of actions. In essence, Al-Jazari was inventing a kind of mechanical programming, centuries before computers. His work influenced engineers in both the East and the West, but over time, his designs were buried beneath centuries of political and cultural shifts. Today, few outside academic circles know his name, but the machines he built still challenge our understanding of what was possible in the medieval world. So what does all this mean? It means that the story we're told about technology, that it moves in a straight, ever-advancing line, might not be entirely true. These machines prove that innovation can surge ahead, only to be lost, forgotten, or hidden. They also suggest that our ancestors may have been far more advanced than we give them credit for. What if there were entire chapters of history, entire civilizations, whose knowledge vanished in war, disaster, or deliberate erasure? And if we've already rediscovered these five robotic wonders, what else might still be out there, waiting to be unearthed? Let us know in the comments which of these ancient robots shocked you the most. Do you think we're just scratching the surface of a forgotten technological age? And if you enjoyed this journey into lost knowledge, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Mysterium, and tap the bell icon so you don't miss what's coming next. Because the past isn't just behind us, it's filled with secrets that might change the future.